What's up guys and welcome back to some more r slash scrap mechanic. So I messed around with the game files. And it's a video, looks like they modified their spud gun. Oh, oh my goodness, do you hear that? Oh, <laughs> looks like they upped the firing rate like crazy. Look at that. Three farm bots taken out no problem. Up next we got a main menu decoration. I used some bots from the workshop. Haha, <laughs> check it out. They got custom built bots all over the place. Oh, look at that, that is pretty cool. Looks like an entire chunk right out of the warehouse and oh, oh, there's a little, yeah, there's a little tote bot peeking out the back. I barely saw that guy. These are actually some pretty cool builds. Like I'd never thought of using a warehouse light for the back of a hay bot head. That is really cool. Up next, we got a post that just says, my RV. You know, building an RV in Scrap Mechanic is probably one of the, oh. Oh, it looks very different from the RVs that I remember. <laughs> but that's because it's in survival mode. Check it out, it's got a craft bot and a refined bot all up on top. That might be a little bit of a risky thing to do, actually, because like if the heaviest things are on, it's you don't want it to be too top heavy, but uh, I don't know, you gotta protect the cook bot, put the valuables on the inside. Check that out, fully featured. Not too complicated with the wiring, but it does look like it has quite a few features. Like I'm looking at this buzzsaw over here and it looks like it is on a motor, but maybe it's also on a controller to like transform outwards and cut some trees or something, or attack some bots. Oh, they also say here that it has all the parts to be a complete moving base, like 100% moving base, mobile base, uh, but they can't use it because the game has super low FPS while they're driving. It's a little bit unfortunate because this is a really cool, really cool RV. When your car is tipping over and you put pipes on the wheels to make it more stable. So I'm thinking you put like a uh, wider... Oh, this is a cross post. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's... Okay, yeah, 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 I see you guys. This is it. like, who does this to their car? What? Oh my god, it's it's a real thing. Does it drive? Let me see. I want to see this thing drive. Aha, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, right. I don't believe this. I don't believe... I mean, this is totally what you do in Scrap Mechanic. This is exactly what I do in Scrap Mechanic. I just make it super wide. It's never going to tip over. You know, until I just drive up a rock or something. But Here we got a post that just says, My latest project, the abandoned bot factory, download in the description. Let's check it out. Look at that, abandoned bot factory, nice. Oh, it would be so cool if we could put this in like survival mode and like edit around some, you know, bot spawn points or something. To just have this like randomly pop up and start, oh, that'd be so cool. Axolot, whoa. <laughs> I want to play with this in survival. Oh, cut. so cool. Let's check out that trailer. Are we playing? Oh yeah, check out that wipe. <laughs> oh, they're, okay, they're filming from inside the tile editor. That's a little unfortunate for their FPS there, but uh, dang, this tile looks so cool. So from what I can tell in the comments then, like you have to mod the game to import some of these survival assets. I'm not sure if it's like, like the tile editor is in creative mode only, right? It would be so cool if you could actually make tiles like this to be randomly loaded into survival mode. You know, where you can like define, you know, spawn points for like uh, the loot crates or, or farm bots or something. Like that'd be so cool. This is a huge tile though, like really, really huge. Especially if this is a, a bot factory, like you could have a ton of all kinds of just one type of bot. Yes! <laughs> what is a mechanic station doing up top on a platform like that? What? With a missing capsule, come on. <laughs> Uh, if there's a world uh, that like prepared to you know download and everything and it all works I'd love to check this out, you know play around in it Look at the staircase though. Oh My god 
the legs that you have to have to go, like, you realize the mechanics that we play as are dwarves, okay? They don't have long legs to skip up every step. Those are huge. The set of stairs is huge, okay? That's torture. How, like, who... You land on a helicopter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you land on a helicopter. Ah! Loud audio at the end. And over here, we actually have a post where somebody's saying the new physics quality slider is amazing. Wait, what? Okay, they had 200 FPS with this thing on the lift. With this thing off. They went down to 16. <laughs> Changing the physics slider down to 1. They get all their FPS back pretty much. Except the bearings don't work anymore. Rip. Wait a sec, what? Wait a sec, what? Hold on a second, what? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I thought they still had the slider at one and all of a sudden their bearings were working? Like, what? No, 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 they just, uh, they just fine-tuned the slider to get uh, somewhere in between. So look at that, they're 150 FPS. That's, that's what you want to be seeing with Scrap Mechanic. Holy moly, that's the game changer we need. This seems fitting for this Reddit. Oh, and it's another cross post from the Car Mods subreddit. <laughs> that's, that's, wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not road legal for a lot of reasons for the driver, like they need to be able to see outside the front of their vehicle, like a certain distance, so you can't see for like 100 feet out of the front of this vehicle if you're sitting in the back, That, but aside from that, I think uh, like this, this is actually pretty cool. Like two, <laughs> two TV screens to distract you from what you're supposed to be looking at. Your dashboard's over here, like what? How is the stick shift over on the side like this? I, I mean, I thought it had to be in the middle for like mechanical reasons. I'm not a mechanic. I gotta say though, this is actually pretty cool. I kinda wanna see this driving. Where are the pedals? Cause I want this. It's definitely something that I didn't even bother to ask or think about. But I think if you look really closely, the pedals are down there underneath the steering wheel. They're just kinda hard to see. Tram arrived to main menu station. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a great, oh, that's a great main menu. Aw, super cute. Just a cozy little train station. Oh, and the tracks go like all the way. I'm pretty sure those go like outside the border too, outside the boundary of the main menu. They look like they just keep on going and going, but that's that's super cool, super cute. Look at that mustache too. I created an elevator with 17 levels and hall calls. All right, let's uh, let's check out this elevator. Nice, nice. Cool, cool, not too fast, so you're not bouncing on the pistons. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so it's kind of like a distance-based thing. Aha, uh -huh, that's, okay, that's what they meant. Like, you can call the elevator from any floor. Very cool. That's a little bit too fast going down, but that's, that's still very cool. But I gotta say, for a pure vanilla build, this is probably the best elevator that I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. Like, this is actually really good. Here we got some fan art for Scrap Man. It says, Scrap Man Rises. Rises from the depths. Let's see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just giant pixel art of his face. All right. <laughs> the comments. Oh my god, the cop. Sometimes the comments are way better than the post. We got a new loading screen here. Uh, note the clock and the large battery. 
They're pointing out the new analog clock over here. I mean, remember, we've also seen a digital clock in the in a recent dev blog. And they're also pointing out to this battery part. Although I'm not sure if the battery is actually a new battery. I think this might actually be an old battery, like the batteries we already have in uh, Survival. And then paint it blue. I think that's all that this is. I'm not sure if it's a new battery or not. Not sure about the battery, but yeah, this clock is definitely new. I wonder what it does. I wonder what it does. Smooth suspension, 112 bearings, ta Tatra, 8x8, running on Physics 7. Optimized physics settings. Let's see what we got here. Look at that go. Oh, 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 beautiful, beautiful suspensions. Oh my goodness. Vehicle body's barely moving, but the wheels are going nuts. Beautiful suspension. Look at that thing go. Creative testing my new monorail for my survival world. I can already tell this monorail looks epic. Let's check it out. Oh, look at the thing go. It wobbles a little bit, but it really doesn't matter. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the car. I mean, that's to be expected. The corner's a little bit janky, but I mean, what can you do? It's scrap mechanic. Look at that, though. The use of suspensions to never collide with any of these supporting beams. That's a really good monorail, I gotta say. Yeah, and you're you're really like never gonna have to worry about that either. Even if a farm bot destroys one of these pegs over here, like you still have every other peg supporting it, so you really don't have to worry about repairing it for like a really, really long time. And I don't think that they're gonna attack it anyway. Like why would they? All right, here we got a mobile base and it's mobile farming system. Cause you never know when you'll run out of food. So let's see if this can all teach us a thing or two about mobile farming. I mean, the fuel consumption on that must be crazy. Like you're, <laughs> look at the, th it's a giant train of set. All right, so inside the thing, yeah, you can go up to the top, you can go down below, all the supplies for farming. Okay, okay, so it's not really like a, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought it was, at first I thought it was gonna be like fully automatic. There was gonna be soil shooting out of uh, uh, out of like a vacuum pump or something, like automatically planting it for you and everything, but um, then I thought it was like, no, okay, it just has the supplies and he's calling automatic farming. You just grab the supplies, step out of your car. Look at that. This button detaches the defense system. The defense. No way, it comes with its own defense system. Spot guns and boss saws and everything, what? Look at that, the upper floor too has amazing beds. Entire, that's the, well, <laughs> it's, it's only the upper floor of just one of them. Not even all of them, like this guy is loaded. Especially with the storage that this guy has. See, look at this, look at this, look at the storage here. Never run out of fuel. All right, let's see this defense system in action. I mean, he could just shoot them all himself, but uh, wow, look at that. They make quick work. Oh, they're coming after him by mistake. That's pretty cool. So after you collect your harvest and everything, you can just weld the entire thing right back onto your vehicle with a piece of cardboard in between, of course. And then you're back on your way. Took me two to three hours, but now I have something I will look at for a long time. No way. <laughs> Nice! See, this is exactly the th type of thing that I was talking about when you just fill the main menu screen with something completely custom and you build around the elements of the main menu. Like, look at that, they put a frame around the logo. Super cool. Got a little glow bug pet and a birdie. Very nice, too. Like, the style of the architecture. I don't know about the color, but, uh, well, I mean, cut, you know, it's all you. You do the color, your choice, and everything, but, like, I'm just talking about, like, the geometry shape of everything around here. It's like, very nice. Here we got another cross post. You did it, you crazy SOB, you did it. And what do they do? Of course, they put buzzsaw wheels on their car, it looks like. <laughs> what, is the, what is this craze with buzzsaw wheels? Did Scrap Mechanic start this craze? Really? My good, like really, it's good, like digging into the ground and everything. No way. I mean, yeah, technically it'll work just fine as long as it like, as long as you're not driving, oh, look at how far it's going into the ground. <laughs> oh, it even cut into my internet bandwidth or something. 
This is insanely laggy, impractical, and hard to assemble, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> oh no, oh the lag. Oh, I see what they did though. They built their own, yeah, they built their own tank track. With it, oh my God, that is so laggy. Because they have to put tension on all those bearings just to have the belt correctly go on all of the, oh, that's so, oh, 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 oh. It, uh, you know when something's like disgusting and beautiful at the same time? Just painful, painful to look at. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Oh, you remember that uh, 8x8 that had like a ton of bearings and uh, smooth suspension, like super smooth suspension? Well, this is the version two. Uh, uh, looks like of the same thing, but they improved it a little bit. Let's check it out. What the heck? Is that like a transmission on top? I gotta say though, it is an improvement. Their vehicle body is barely moving. Like barely moving. That is some good stuff. It does make me wonder though, maybe the effectiveness of this suspension system is based on the distance between the wheels front to back relative to the bumps on the ground here. Because these rows, these are farming rows that are equal distance apart. You know, just so that the wheels were a little bit farther apart. Like a, a different position relative to the front wheels. I wonder if they would still have that same stability, or if they got a little bit lucky with the farming rows. I'm just curious. You know, science. And speaking of suspension, we got another post here. Some extreme rocker bogey suspension. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Look at that, it's the exact same thing, but it's like much, much longer. Oh, oh, what? Hold on, hold on, it is not the same thing. That is like significantly better. That is not the same thing. Oh, look at the thing go, it just like grabs. Look at that, the wheels are 90 degree angle. And the car is just good to go. Right down a set of stairs. Can someone explain what's going on here? All right, what am I looking at? Let's see if I can explain what's going on here. Putting some pipes. Suspension. Upgrade your suspensions. Oh, what? What? Wait. Does it have to be on a pipe? Or could it just be on the blocks too? Is it... Is it always every second suspension that you put down? What? What? Like I went into this thinking that I might be able to explain what's going on here, but like, what? <laughs> what? Just when I think Axolot can't surprise me anymore, this is truly surprising. Like, why, why every second suspension that you put, it, it's not even the second one that you put down, it's the, the second one that you upgrade all the way up to five. Why? Fun fact, the fruit crate doesn't have to be in the red lines. As long as there is a solid connection, no bearings or pistons, okay, so like a single body connection, it can be sucked up. Wait, really? Hold on a second, really? Hold on a second, this is gonna be a game changer if that's true, let me see this. Okay, yeah, yeah, they got a long piece of wood. They got a long piece of wood all the way up to the... No way! They got a long piece of wood right inside the red line barrier that where this thing is like supposed to suck up the crates from. And they extend that wood all the way outside. And any crate, any crate that is attached to that wood will be sucked up when the button's pressed. No way! No way! I mean, have fun using this while you can, because I'm, I guarantee you the developers are gonna fix this, like, as soon as they see this. As soon as they see this, they're gonna fix this. Cause like, no way! You just, you, cause they have the water there, you put a, a water cannon firing at the button the whole time, right? So then you just build this piece of wood all the way to the packing station. You don't even, you never need to visit, I mean, other than actually getting things from the trader, you never actually need to visit the, the, the vacuum pump here. Like, you, you can just have the piece of wood, the quote unquote trader wood, and from the packing station, you just slap it on the wood, and it'll be sucked up as long as the button's being auto-pressed the entire time. That's crazy, that's crazy. Here we got a post that just says, well, okay then. Looks like they're doing their main menu vehicle, it's a... 
just a flyer? Okay, you gotta you wanna position it exact. And then quickly exit! <laughs> oh, that is Yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then, it's just there floating. Here we got a post that just says, work in process. D wait, don't they mean work in progress? Like you're, you're progressing in your work? I mean, work is a process. Holy moly. I, I don't believe you, I don't. I don't believe you. I don't, but you use some computer program to generate these, you, you know, as blueprints or something. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Take my upvote. I don't believe you. Just take my upvote. <laughs> exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Holy moly, dude. It is, you know, I guarantee you this is going to be top of the shop. Top of the workshop right here. This is going to be top of the workshop. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Due to the massive success of my Seamoth, I will make a vid about this. Also, there's a link to this built in the comments. Due to the massive success. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good though. Damn, dude, that is pretty good. I mean, I tried to build a submarine and it looked pretty mediocre. You actually put effort into how this thing looks and it looks amazing. Damn. Good job, good job, Ace Plays 14, good job. New to the game, just built the cookpot. I guess this little guy was hungry too. Oh, look at the little tote bot coming in for a snack. Did you smell what the cook bot was cooking up? Lumberjack on duty. Yeah, he's just uh, sitting sitting on the turlet, making a duty while you're on duty. Oh, is that what it means by on duty? You're on top of duty right now? For just watching your factory go to work. Nice. The trash yard is finally finished. Took me like 12 hours. Yeah, it's always satisfying to finish a build that took you like a really, really long time, especially when it's like a really nice one. And holy moly. Wow, do you see that? Like it even has the sensor and the eyeball and everything. They built a full trash bot on top of a trash pile. Oh, cra that's, a, that's an entire farm bot buried in trash. Crazy stuff. We've created a monster. All right, what's this monster? Oh, oh no. Oh no, are you you're trying to make a bot out of bot parts and meat? Meat parts? Walk plus bot equals this abomination. Oh my god, it's like a weird slug thing. It's like a walrus. <laughs> it's barking like a walrus too. Like what? Oh, we got one by a T Common Shark. This is the discussion between farm bots. Farm bot go brrrr! Oh, here we got another one. What do you think of my main menu? Oh, look at it. It's adorable. Oh, it's like a li- Oh, it's a little city. Oh, and you got a little, uh, oh, a little car and everything. It's a duck city. I barely noticed the ducks because it's a little bit far away. But there, it's a city for ducks. Super cute. Little factory right here. Oh, cool. Oh, so cool. This post was tagged with drawing over textures is very funny. When the bearing isn't painted. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, the monstro- there's- Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, drawing over textures is vi yeah, very funny. Oh my god, it's a face on a face on a f on another face? I don't know how many faces there are. Is he very happy to see me? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> uh, not quite done yet, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. Took me five hours. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's another main menu screen. Pretty similar to the trash bot main menu, but this one is all farm bots and a lot of uh, concrete, factory pieces, and robot warning signs. Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> uh, and it's just tagged yeet. I like the yeet tag. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. What's happening? Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're doing. Yep. Is it really gonna... Whoa! Holy moly, like it just sent it. What? <laughs> you even see, you nailed the tree directly. Perfect aim, dude. I gotta see that again. I gotta see that again. That's really cool. Like, holy moly, you don't see, it just go, it's flying, dude. I know, it doesn't look like it's gonna go that far, but it just goes. 
Oh, and it's a, such a perfect ending too, like that. That's, what do you mean this isn't the most efficient way to get wood? What, is it gonna be a, a big boba? Oh, never mind. This is a thruster-based gimbal helicopter. That's pretty cool, I gotta say, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can see, I can see what they mean now. What do you mean this isn't the most efficient way to get wood? Dang, that thing is super stable if you can just get out and leave it. That's the gimbal helicopter for you. <laughs> it just pushes it up. Maybe it isn't the most efficient. I mean, you are gonna have to pick that up off the ground, right? And you're in a flying vehicle. But it does seem to get the job done really quickly. Here we got a submarine, no mods or glitches. The legendary, perfectly vanilla submarine. Yeah, if that thing's like uh, neutrally buoyant, you know, you're not, you're not sinking up or down. You can just point your thrusters up or down and go anywhere you want. I saw Tobster's post and made my own train, which goes much faster and has nicer doors, but is much, much uglier. All right, so here we got a little bit of a competition, a uh, train build versus train build. So this is the faster of the two trains, not a pretty train, but it doesn't have to be pretty when you're faster. Hey, not bad. They are right about it not being super pretty, but uh, you don't need it to be pretty. Look at that go, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you just in your underwear on the public train? Come on now. I'm kind of surprised it's not flipping over around those corners. Automatic train system though, in your world? Going that fast? That's pretty good. Here is somebody's trash bot. It's their third try to try and share them. No way, look at that. They made it out of Lego. A genuine Lego trash bot. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, look at that. They got the legs in everything. Bam, look at that. I, for, I actually forget what these things on the sides are. But look at that. Even got a chain in the front. Gotta love those Lego builds. Scripted single part torpedo I made for the mod that I'm working on. That's right. This is Foxtrot's torpedo mod. Of course, there's a lot of underwater goodies that mod makers can make. And torpedo. Oh, heck yeah, dude. The way that it just drops down and went. Look at that thing go. When your suspension glitch glitches out. Wait, what? When a glitch glitches out? What? <laughs> oh, that's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap mechanic is exactly like this. You know, except for not as much FPS. Here we got a vehicle, my automated subway train. Okay, so this is the other train, uh, part of the competition. And this one is the slower of the two trains, uh, but it is supposedly prettier. I don't think this guy was in a competition uh, to build trains anyway. I think the other guy just saw this train and was like, I'm gonna build a faster train. So, whoops. <laughs> whoops, a little bit of trouble on the doors there, but uh, look at that. I, I gotta say, it is a pretty train. They at least painted it some color. Good stuff. Like you always gotta envy the people that have a fully functioning train system in their world. It definitely makes getting around a lot simpler. You don't even have to worry about driving around or accidentally flipping over your vehicle when you hit a walk or something. So if you could have like a fully functional train system in your world, that would be amazing. Who wants farming equipment? Oh, heck yeah, dude, look at that. Beautiful tractors, like this is like straight up John Deere stuff. So you'll be able to plant whatever you want. You got a sensor to trigger the pumps, oh nice. And then you got the watering tank over here on this tractor. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. This is how to kill farm bots. Wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah? Just put a little explosive in the road. Huh. What? Oh, I see. I see, you just have really, really fast spinning wheels in the front. Oh my gosh. Yeet? Just yeet that bot. Like seriously, what? Dude. That's not how you kill farm bots, that's how you get to the top of a warehouse. Here we got a broken suspension. Ah, it's a cross post. Okay, it's a, a cross post, we got a broken suspension. Everybody gangster. Till the cars start doing the stanky leg. Oh my god.
Like, that's an actual broken suspect. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. That's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Everybody gangsta till the car starts. Oh my gosh. You don't want to be around that when it's doing that. Oh, check it out. This person made VR chat avatars with scrap mechanic assets. Heck yes. I want to see this. Ah, <laughs> uh, blood. <laughs> I really want to play VR chat so bad, but my I, I have my video card. I need to upgrade it. <laughs> it's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It makes me want to play VR chat. It really don't teach you everything. All the information you need to get started is in the mechanics handbook. <laughs> yep, yep. The mechanics handbook is so out of date. It's like back in 0.2, I think, that it was last updated. Like it's very much out of date. This, I got a lot of comments on my YouTube videos. Uh, somebody, like some people were actually getting a real ad for Sunshake. I don't think it's by Axelot. Look at that, they actually got like, this is an ad on YouTube. Free the walk inside of you. Wait, that's a YouTube ad? It's getting serious. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's thanks to Dr. Pixel Plays. Check out Dr. Pixel Plays. They definitely have some interesting stuff. And you know, a Sunshake ad is, is some good stuff. It's some good stuff. Hank is on vacation. What's Hank doing? Oh, that's Hank the Haybot. Yeah, this was the clay figurine that we saw, I think, in the last video. They put them on a little tropical beach. Hank the Haybot's on vacation. Oh, wait, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. He has a little camera. He's on vac- Oh, and the little- Oh, I forgot. Isn't this the most lift thing you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Also, the you know, even the guy's shirt. Give me a lift. My goodness. That is a massive lift. I, you gotta love the theme too. Like this guy's going all out with a yellow, 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 yellow. Everything's yellow. <laughs> uh, flex weld tool. To show you the power of the weld tool, I sawed this bus in half. <laughs> uh, so Lemon, nade, timer bomb. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. They're probably like suggesting uh, maybe a mod part or maybe something to add into the game. So if you can farm lemons and like some other chemicals. Yeah, it looks like lemon uh, chemicals and oil along with some uh, logic just to uh, like a switch. Switch and a timer bomb. So I think this might be a pretty decent suggestion for something that might might fit in a survival gameplay. You know, if we're actually farming, like this actually uses the stuff in the survival world. So I think uh, I think this is pretty good. Also, lemonade. I like it. I like it. They fixed the UI. Why is nobody talking about this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They fixed the logic gates. No, no. I mean, we did notice it, and they did fix it. Like it was a while ago, I think. Um, it, there's just not much to talk about. I mean, why did they ever take it away? You know. And here we got a meme. Building and scrap mechanic main menu be like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, the invisible border is very small in the main menu. Good stuff. You can never go wrong with a meme. Oh, and here we got a potato grenade. I guess this is another idea. Similar idea by the same person. Yeah, very similar idea. Same person, except they're just using a potato. I think you can have, like, a potato-powered clock or something. Alternative fuel for oil. Just an alternative fuel source can be potatoes. Green fuel, you know what I mean? But a uh, grenade, I don't know about that. The Onceler next level over engineering. The Onceler? 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 I don't even know what this is. Let's just see what it is and, uh. Man, I still don't know what it is. Oh, oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, you cut it off right at the bottom, catch it on top, and then from there you can process it really quickly. Yeah, look at the thing go. Bus saws on top and on bottom, from all directions. You know, this might actually be one of the most effective designs for a lumber vehicle that I've ever seen on this Scrap Mechanic subreddit. And on the workshop, just like in general ever. This might be one of the best designs I've seen. Yep, and it does the small trees too. Trees of any size. <laughs> Looks like it's trying to process them too quickly for its own good. If you're looking for a reliable and effective lumber vehicle design, I think this is probably what you're looking for. 
when you try to use the weld tool for the first time. What? Yes, <laughs> this. Ah, uh, this. Yeah, this is. This, I'm surprised this is not another cross post from the uh, car mods subreddit. Ah, uh, but it looks like they welded. Oh my god, the front door and back door are all a single door. What a ridiculous. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. The seat belt's like carried with the door though. That's so, like what? Why? The, this speaker in the back, like, come on. What? <laughs> this is a little ridiculous, but I like it. And here we have the top post of the past month. Guess I'm rich. Her. I only date rich guys. Me. <laughs> Two stacks of component kits and you are loaded. Yep, that is, that is rich. That is the definition of rich in Scrap Mechanic when you have extra component kits like this. And those were the top posts of the past month for the subreddit r slash scrap mechanic. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. See you guys next time. To show you the power of the weld tool, I saw this button. <laughs> I didn't mean to say, I didn't mean to say but. What? Oh my god. Whew. Let me try that again. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what, let's just see <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> to show you the power of the weld tool, I sawed this bus in half. <laughs>